Never in a million years, let alone a hundred years, did I think I would design a memorial. We really wanted to capture the essence of Air Force and our first 100 years. Now that sounds like a simple task, but when you unpack what Air Force is today, we have 70 different career opportunities, people from 115 different countries. Um, so how you actually capture that in a memorial that's meaningful to everyone was really a challenge. It became clear that what we wanted to do was really to make this a memorial to all of those who have served and will serve those 350,000 Australians that have put on this uniform. And more importantly, we wanted to honour those that have paid the ultimate price and those that are still classified as missing in action. Point Cook is the traditional home of the Air Force. The memorial was designed to complement the Australian Flying Corps Memorial on the opposite side of the Point Cook Parade Ground. That memorial's been there since 1938. We want members of the Australian public also to be able to access it. People who come and visit the museum can do a slight detour down to the parade ground and they too can appreciate the significance and symbolism associated with the memorial. The memorial consists of three main features, a semicircular wall, which complements the AFC memorial, which symbolises the earth, the complete circle or sphere of the earth, if you like. Then the second part, two sandstone walls, one in the shape of a chevron and the other in the shape of a officer's rank slide. And each of those surfaces are sloped at 45 degrees and takes your eye to the heavens. We've also been able to incorporate a searchlight and that searchlight is positioned in between the two stone walls. Very symbolic of those that are still classed as MIA. It'll be a great place of reflection, to pause to commemorate all of those Australians that have served in the Royal Australian Air Force. but it also provides us with an opportunity to look forward with expectation, excitement as to what the next century has to offer. The dedication of the memorial represents the end of our centenary commemorations. And I think it's appropriate that we do that in the last month of our centenary. So it'll mean different things to different people and that's exactly what we wanted it to do and something that I think will endure for many, many generations going forward, well into our second century of operations.